It's Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I want to make a video today and I want to talk uh, a little bit about gold and silver, what's happening in the metals market. Uh, this was a pretty crazy day. Um, gold, uh, depending on the site you were following, I was watching Fox Business. I saw gold uh, as high as $46 an ounce today. It is well now over $2,000. Uh, I saw silver up above $1.60 on multiple sites, including Fox Business. And uh, here we are. Uh, this is CNBC today. Uh, the metals uh, absolutely uh, just breaking out. Uh, gold triumphs record $2,000 per ounce peak on U.S. stimulus bets. Um, you know, I, I talked to a few people today, and, and please comment down below, how come we saw such a big breakout in the metals today? Uh, my opinion of things is uncertainty and unpredictability. I, I think that there's a lot of people out there, a lot of money out there that is getting very concerned uh, with the debt, all this stimulus, all this money printing, and, and all this uncertainty that lies ahead right here in the U.S. economy and the world economy. And I truly believe that um, there is smart money and big money out there uh, protecting their wealth. And that's what I'm doing. I hope that that's what you're doing. Uh, I got a, a list here today. This was on MarketWatch.com. I just want to look at some of the numbers here. If we look at silver in the last three months, it is up 74.3%. Year to date, silver is up 44.4%. And over one year, silver is up 57.6%. You know, I have to go back to these people who would continually write me and tell me that silver was going to five or six dollars an ounce, and that's when we should be buying. And I just said, that's not going to happen. Most of you knew that wasn't going to happen. You couldn't pull it out of the ground for that, for that price. Um, and now, um, just knowing um, the amount of stimulus and debt creation that is taking place, uh, when we saw the banks getting into trouble last summer with the repo market injections, uh, the writing was on the wall of what was coming. Gold and silver were not going to be uh, beaten down. Uh, these were the two most undervalued assets on planet Earth, and they continue to be the most uh, uh, undervalued assets on planet Earth. There's still a bargain, without a doubt. They've got a long way to go. But um, knowing uh, what was happening in the banking uh, system, knowing what's happening with all this debt creation, there is no way that the metals were going to go down much more. Um, and here we are today with a record breakout. We look at gold over three months. It is up 18.4%. Year to date, gold is up 33.3%. And over the last year, gold is up 37.3%. So, you know, uh, you got to be really careful who you listen to. Uh, and sometimes you got to listen to your gut. And you, you, you got to connect the dots. And you got to look at the warning signs, the indicators, the canaries in the coal mine, they're all dying. Uh, the debt, the debt, the debt, bet against the debt, and the way to do it is to be holding hard assets like gold and silver, which have been on sale, and they continue to be on sale. They have a long way to go. Not to say that we're not going to see pullbacks here and there. We could see a pullback tomorrow. But uh, no doubt uh, silver is going to 30, and gold is going to try to get to 2,500. And look, they're containing uh, all this right now. They are plugging up all the cracks in the dam and they're telling you that life is normal. There's nothing to be worried about, that uh, uh, everything is okay. Everything is sound and healthy. Uh, the banking system, the financial uh, sector, the consumer, uh, everything is okay. America is bankrupt, ladies and gentlemen. There's no denying that. There's no hiding it. We've got a pension crisis. Um, we've got a stock market bubble like, unlike we have ever seen before. We now are witnessing a commercial real estate crash, and we're going to see a housing crash here in America, and we're going to see an inflation, hyperinflation coming to America that is guaranteed. And I hope that all of you are protecting yourselves. It is no doubt exciting to see gold and silver to have a good day. But also, when you look 
uh, at the 10 year bond today at 0.51 and, you, and you're looking at gold over $40, uh, silver over a buck 60 today, it also is alarming because this is telling us something. This is trying to warn us of something coming. I read an article today and I think it was on newsblog.com or some site like that. And it's titled, Many Americans are now prepared to deal with depression level living. The lack of planning by society will make this a reality if it is allowed. What will you do when everything you work for in a lifetime is suddenly taken away? The boogeyman is coming, ladies and gentlemen. And if you are not prepared, he is going to wipe you out and take everything you've worked for. The forces mounting will eventually overwhelm most Americans and send their standard of living to unknown deaths. And see, people can't comprehend that. They believe that that's an impossibility. But we're at a time now where people are beginning to see this as a possibility. Uh, people now see the possibility that they could be homeless. They see the possibility that there is no V-shaped recovery, recovery. They see the possibility that they may not have a job to return to. They see the possibility that the $600 bonuses aren't coming back. All these possibilities now are becoming reality. Americans are ill-equipped to deal with the depression level living that is coming. How are people going to adjust to their new living standards? The BMW, the Lexus, the Mercedes for many people, the leases are over. They're going back. Cars are being repoed uh, by the thousands now. Um, people going to be evicted out of their apartments. People are going to be evicted out of their homes. Uh, this is all coming to America. It's all begun right now. It's already beginning. And this is reality, a reality that people hoped would never happen. They, they hoped it away, they wished it away, but they never prepared for it because they didn't want to believe it. Easy credit, instant gratification, self-absorbed, entitlement, no moral or mental toughness. This is the majority of Americans today. And when this depression, which has already begun, when we get deep into this depression, you talk about moral and mental toughness. You know, we have a society of adults that have been playing video games, smoking weed, uh, just feel entitled, free government money, free handouts, uh, just expectations that um, whatever they want, they can get. And if they can't afford it, they just take a credit card and buy it with money they don't have. Um, this is society today. Again, how tough will people be when you have 30 and 40 year olds playing video games, people addicted to Netflix, social media. I mean, these people have no idea what is coming and they are going to, they're not going to be able to adjust. The depression is here and we're going to see people in a mental depression. The super depression has arrived and the bigger the debt, the bigger this debt cycle, the bigger this depression is going to be. You know, we, we've kicked the can down the road. We've put off the inevitable. Uh, the debts have gotten so much bigger. We have made this day of reckoning, this super depression, the worst uh, depression we, we are ever going to see in history. Uh, the more debt we create, the more we put it off, the worse it's going to be. And we have now created a monster depression. This is how reality works and people are not prepared for reality. This depression that we're in right now, and many may argue with me that we're not in a depression, we're in a recession. Well, I'm going to argue back that we're in a depression. And this depression is going to begin to pick up more momentum. And the more momentum it picks up, the more overwhelming it's going to be for millions of people right here in America. The masses and society are expecting to get things like social security, pensions, payouts from the retirement plans, these plans that they paid into for years. All this is going to disappear overnight. 
And they're going to wake up and find out that they've been fooled, they've been tricked, they've been bamboozled. They're going to yell, they're going to scream, they're going to kick, and they're going to want to identify who did this. These people should look in the mirror. They did this to themselves. And I'm not justifying the, the, the theft and the thievery and the trickery, but where have these people been? The warning bells have been going off. The warning signs have been going off and they have ignored it. They, they have decided to just trust the system. The biggest mistake you can make now is to trust this system. The public is asleep as the warning signs are blinking all around them. The masses have ignored the warning signs. They've hit the snooze button time in and time again. The masses do not understand economics, ladies and gentlemen, and the masses do not want to understand economics. And they're going to pay dearly for this ignorance. And this is why I make these videos. I, I feel like I have a duty to you, to the American people, to this country, to do whatever I can, however minuscule it is, how little it might be. Um, I want to know at the end of all this that I did something, that maybe I woke up one person, maybe I woke up five people, ten people. Um, but it's you guys who are really waking everybody up. Those comments down below continue to wake people up. And, and I'm proud that we have a platform here where people can read those thousands of comments and get an insight of what's happening right here in America and other parts of the, of the world. People from all over the world write in those comments. But it's the average American in those comments telling us what's really happening. Not the television, not uh, a financial analyst in a $2,000 suit and a $300 tie. It's the average Joe uh, who lost his job or who's losing their house uh, or, or sees what's going on in their community who's reporting to you and I what's really, really happening. I want to go on with this article as I paraphrase. As unemployment skyrockets, people will be left to survive on what resources they have saved. Resources they have saved outside of the banking system that cannot be stolen by, politi by politicians or bankers by the flip of a switch or by a keystroke on a computer. There are, there are people out there praying that this economy is going to turn around, hoping that the economy is going to turn around, wishing the economy, the economy is going to turn around. These people are delirious. What you must understand is we are past the point of no return. There is so much debt it can never be paid back, and we continue to create more debt every hour of the day. None of it's being paid down. None of it's going to be paid back. It is impossible. We are past the point of no return. These people don't understand this. It doesn't matter at this point. There's nothing that can fix it. You've got to, at this point, brace for impact and prepare uh, for the greatest depression, the monster depression that is upon us right now. When people wake up one morning and they have no job, the retirement is gone, and they need to take care of their family, what are these people going to do? If you're one of these people, what are you going to do? Do you really believe that this is impossible? Take a look at where we're at today. If you think that this is impossible, um, you really need to get some counseling. You need to get some help. And I, and I mean that in the most respectful way. If you really believe that this can't happen at this point, you really need to be examined. We have a global frozen economy. We have a U.S. economy frozen. We are talking about more trillions of dollars more of stimulus and bailouts. We have a completely manipulated stock market. We have a retail apocalypse. We have an auto industry in depression, a trucking industry in depression. We have a co commercial real estate uh, industry in depression, and we have a housing industry getting ready to collapse. And yet people think that this can't happen to them. We, we have a pension crisis in America, yet people believe that their pension is going to be waiting for them. 
Um, pensions, Social Security, all this is being robbed as I make this video, and yet people believe that the system is going to look out for them. Again, they're being bamboozled, fooled, manipulated, uh, and these people are going to pay a severe price for their ignorance. Government services, what's going to happen when they collapse? What happens when banks close, ATMs close? What happens when you have no job? What happens when there is no pension waiting for you? What happens when your family doesn't have food? What are you going to do when America turns into a third world country like Zimbabwe? This is a huge possibility. And I pray that this doesn't happen, but I think it's going to happen. And I believe that it will happen. And I, and I pray that America will be able to get out of this uh, at some point after it happens. Um, how long does this depression last? I don't know, but I think it's going to last a long time. And that's why most people, many people in America are going to be living in a third world country. Um, maybe not you, but we're all going to know people at some point who basically are living. I know people right now that are living in a third world country right here in America. Um, I, I, I look at the homeless epidemic right here in Southern California. It looks worse than a third world country. Uh, there are people right now not eating enough food, people right now who are homeless, people who are jobless. Um, their whole life right now is a third world country. And we're going to see this happen to millions of more, millions of more people. It's going to be too late to point fingers and blame. It's going to be about survival. All this falls back on you and you taking responsibility for you, taking responsibility for your family. Yes, banks. Yes, politicians. Yes, the financial system, all to blame. But when crime is running rampant, when you don't have food, when you don't have a job, when you have a family to take care of, pointing fingers isn't going to solve anything. You need to take responsibility right now for you and your family because, yes, it will be the politicians, the banks, and the financial system that bring all this down. The 1% who ran all this up are going to you know, disappear with their golden parachutes while 99 or the 99.9% .9 pay for these atrocities and these crimes. But these people are gonna be long gone. Pointing fingers isn't gonna feed your family. That's why it's imperative that you set yourself up right now for survival, that you set yourself up to win, that you have food, that you set yourself up for shelter. If you have the means or ability to have a, 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 a bug out house, a place to get to, a cabin, um, a, a, another place in a rural area, great. But I understand that most people don't have the means to do that. And there's no guarantee that you'll even be able to get to it. If things get really bad, the, the, the interstates, the highways, uh, you may not want to travel. You may have to bug in. Um, but I think if, if you have the a means to have additional places of shelter, I, I think that that is definitely a benefit. Clothing, first aid, medicine, security, food, water, um, you know, a, a network of people, all very, very important. And it blows my mind that the churches do not prepare their people, that they don't have security, that they don't have food and water put away. It's just amazing how lackadaisical the churches have become. The lack of planning will be the destruction of many people right here in America. You need to do what you can do right now. You can go to the grocery store and buy canned food. You can buy bottled water. You can still get to a store and buy brass. You can still buy security uh, weapons. It's getting harder and it's getting much, much more expensive. I can't even believe uh, the price of brass. It is absolutely uh, crazy how expensive it has gotten. And you know what? It's going to get more expensive. And if you need it, you'll pay whatever you need to pay for it. You'll pay $100 for a box. You'll pay $200 for a box because if your family's life depends on it, you'll pay whatever you have to. Why wait till then? Do it now. Same thing with food and water. Prices are only going to go up. And 
the tougher times get, the more expensive that these these uh, uh, commodities assets are going to be, um, because everybody's going to want them. So right now, if you have the means, if you have the money, if you have a job, if you have the side hustles, you need to be taking that money and you need to be putting it in shelter, and food, and water, and clothing, and pharmaceuticals, first aid, um, brass, gold, silver. You need to diversify your, por your survival portfolio right now. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day out. People are out. Uh, again, these people are like zombies for the most part. You, you know, we, we still have so many people who are asleep. How can you be asleep watching what is happening take place? I can tell you right in my area, all the major resorts are closed. Uh, restaurants are being decimated, retail decimated, uh, especially the luxury uh, higher end totally being decimated. Everything is being decimated. Yet there are people out there walking around like zombies, like this is going to end tomorrow and we're going to go back uh, to normal. It's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Take advantage. Time is not your friend. Take advantage of the time that you have to prepare. You owe it to your family. If not to you, you owe it to your little kids, to your wife to protect them. Very bad people come out when the bad times hit, okay? When, when the lights go out, when the police aren't coming to work, very bad things are going to happen and you're going to feel horrible if your kids don't have food or water or security. Just imagine if somebody hurt your kids or your wife, how bad you would feel because you didn't prepare. You didn't start to prepare today. You didn't do anything. You just hoped and denied the, the, the reality of what's happening. Don't do that. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to regret it. So take action today. CNBC, the $600 unemployment boost just expired. Families are already hurting. Let's, I mean, if this doesn't tell you right here, what I'm showing you, of why you need to be doing something to prepare, I, you know, you're a zombie. Here's another one. CNBC credit card data from JP Morgan shows the economic recovery may be stalling. Yes, um, spending way down uh, right now today compared to 2019. It is way down. Um, people are not spending like they once once were. Treasury yields tumbling. I mean, 0.51 uh, on a uh, 10 year. I mean, we are we're getting down to record lows. And uh, again, warning sign, you're seeing bond yields slammed. You're seeing gold soaring, silver soaring. Um, and the only reason the stock market is soaring is because it is on life support with the Federal Reserve injecting tons of artificial stimulus into it. Otherwise, it would be getting hammered right now and we see gold and silver even higher. We are going to see gold. I truly believe we are going to see gold going up $100 a day and I believe we're going to see silver going up multiple dollars a day. That's coming to America and it's funny. People aren't laughing now, are they? Because we got a real, I mean, we, we have multiple crises taking place at the same time. This is the perfect storm. And I don't even think anybody could imagine how bad uh, this could be. I mean, think about it. A frozen economy. A frozen economy. 40 million plus people out of work. Trillions of dollars of debt. Industry. We're not producing. We're not manufacturing. Uh, the consumer's not spending. Um, I mean, it is just a complete apocalypse across the board. So so I'm going to wrap it up right here today. Before I go, a, a, a couple banking notes that I read today. Uh, the banks are coming out. This was a couple articles on, on the hedge. Banks have come out and talking about lending restrictions and how they're tightening up. And I've talked about this in the last couple videos. It's going to get much, much tougher to buy anything on credit. And it's going to get tougher to buy a house because many banks now are requiring 20% down with a 700 plus FICA. Think about, like when they tell you the housing market's on fire and it's doing well, how, how is that possible when you have 40 million people out of work? Now we have lending restrictions. Many banks requiring 20% down and a 700 FICA. Do you know how many people's FICAs are being destroyed right now? Uh, what bank is going to lend to you? if you don't have a job or you haven't been at your job for a year or two. Um, and how many people right now in America uh, have a 20% down payment on a house? 
uh, and how many people don't even know if they're going to have a job tomorrow? I mean, think about this. So, you know, some of this data, some of these statistics that we get, I, I think are so fraudulent, but uh, restrictions are going to get tighter. Same thing, you buy a car, you buy a house, uh, they're cutting credit limits uh, on, on credit cards now. Uh, it's going to get much, much harder to purchase anything with credit. Also, Bank of America came out today. They're predicting gold to go to $3,000 an ounce within 18 months or sooner. Uh, again, so the banks know something that millions of Americans don't know. So why the lending restrictions? Why do they see gold going to $3,000? Well, they know that the collapse is getting near. And I truly believe this will be a monster depression, the greatest depression in history, and it's going to wipe out millions of people. And um, I pray for this country. I pray for every one of you. And thank you so much for praying for me. We've got to stick together. Um, we've got to be supporting one another, keeping everybody, one another in prayer. If you're watching this video today, please read the comments down below. If you want to get a taste of reality, if you don't believe what I'm saying, read what the people right here in America are saying. I want to thank every one of you for supporting this channel. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with everybody. God bless every one of you. Make sure that you are praying for America. Uh, we are in very, very big trouble.